washable market. What a WWE Night of Champions pay-per-view. I was shocked, but before I get any further with that, I want to let you guys know, this will be the final <clears throat> pre-show, wrestling recap show, before October 26th. We're getting booted out. They're going to turn this place into a wrestling place. So, you know, we're getting booted out, so you won't see us for a minute until after October 12th or October 26th. You won't see us. Here, this is the last one until after October 26th. With me, the Washington Market Ride is victorious. Now, I have a special guest with me. The mystery man that will reveal itself after October 26th. What's your opinion on that match? What's going to go on? I already got your opinion with Tebow and I see that. <clears throat> well, like I said, when, uh, when I talked with T-Bone Terrorizer, I had a... Uh, had a bit of conversation about yep I watched it about what the fans wanted to see um, you know I try not to pick sides I don't want to say I'm pro washable marker or I'm pro terrorizer um, going to keep it kind of political and talk about the fans um, I think I mean like I said um, before you interrupt it a lot of people think I'm going to be the underdog. I am the underdog. People think it's impossible that I'm going to be T-Bone the steak. I'm <laughs> 26. I mean, what do you... Underdog? Uh, yes. I think he's the underdog. I think, uh... I think you're the underdog. We're, you know... Travis is, you know, T-Bone terrorizer. He's a... He's a wildcat. Um, but I think, um, I still think somehow the washable marker will prevail in this thing. Um, kind of like we've seen tonight with, uh, Daniel Bryan. And that's how I feel. I feel like I'm getting screwed over in this match. It's impossible for me to be because, one, my... Ask Norman was against me, and he was supposed to be the guest, guest referee. I sat there and talked to my WR1 owner, and he's supposed to get a new ref, but I don't, he won't even tell me who the ref is, so I don't know about that. It just seems like table is turning on me, like it's impossible to be. So, that's why I want to get somebody else's opinion on it. Yeah, I think, uh, I think ultimately, uh, you're going to be in charge of your own fate on that day. And it's going to come come down to... Uh, you just got to do a, a Daniel Bryan on at the heart of a champion. So that's that's what I think on that. I think... Uh, I think no matter what happens, the fans want to see the washable marker take the death card. And that's... That's, uh, that's 100. I mean, he's a BF fight or something. He's a big boy. He's a big boy. But I have, I, have, I have a heart like Daniel Bryan, so we'll right. see. Okay, I have a pin in. Okay. WWE Night of Champions. Awesome pay per view. Awesome pre match. 3MB versus Tons of Funk versus Real Americans versus the Usos versus Prime Time. What did you think about that match? Well, I mean, in your opinion, who are you going for? I try not to choose sides. I'm, I'm more of a fan of just watching the fight and, and getting excited about yeah, it. Enjoying yeah. it. I really, I just like to see how the winners turn out to be winners. Well, this is how the winners turned out. Tons of Fog beat M3B. Real Americans beat tons of Real American beat the Usos. And then Americans get beat by... 
the primetime players. That was excellent. The primetime players came out there. I didn't expect it to go the way it went. It went that way. I was excited about million that. Million dollars. I was million excited million about dollars. that. Do yes. it. Million dollars. Yes. Million That's million right. Dollars. Do That's it. right. Get down. It was okay. Insane. That was good. I like to see the underdogs win. See, I was going for the Usos. The one, the one, the one I think the hottest tag teams out there. But I wasn't, I wasn't too mad about trying to buy players. Okay, next match, United Champions pay per views. Uh, first match that was the pre show. Match one, Triple H comes out. The fans are split 50 50. Says, no, he will beat the greatest knight in history. He listens to the fan. And greed is what the best for business, he says. There will be nobody, are you ready? Pat Kamen, there will be nobody, are you ready? Come out and says to Triple H, stop, stop. And says he made a mistake. He's a mid-aged father of two. I think he was a chicken, trying to make excuses up. So, he was scared. He was very scared. yeah, yeah, he was. Looked like he was going to take a shower for a week. Yeah, and he used a nap. Trying to do like a Daniel Bryan with the old girl and the beard, I don't think. You know. Okay, match one for the IC Championship. This is what Triple H made because Axel was back talking to Triple H, trying to, you know, woo woo woo. Curtis Axel versus SOS Kofi Kingston. Winner. I think it was stupid. I thought, I thought, I think. He should have put his belt up against CM Punk this time. I think he should have put it up. But he didn't. It was against Kofi Kingston. Winner. Still IC champion. Curtis Angle. Okay. Match two for the Divas Championship. I love the Divas Championship. How about you? Oh, excellent. Excellent. I could have cared less who won. I could have cared less. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Match two for the Divas Champion was Nat Natalia versus Naomi versus Brie Bella versus AJ Lee. My, I was going for AJ. I don't care if she's a psycho. I still like her. She's one of my favorite Divas. Winner, AJ Big Booty Lee. <laughs> Woo! Divas Champion, ladies and gentlemen. She had a battle on her. Oh, my God. Don't make me spin out of off my couch. It was crazy. Okay, this is the match I was waiting for. I'm glad he's back. My man, match three. Hold on, hold on. Wait, real quick, rewind it. The, the double leg lock move. To, she had two feet. She, oh, oh, yeah. She, hold on. That was Italian? insane. Yes, and then when she slammed it over the other lady, she had it out like this. That should have been a count. Oh, yeah, that's right. That Thank you for ridiculous. reminding me, mystery man. That was ridiculous. Thank you for reminding me. Holy. That was crazy. The ref, what was the ref thinking? Man, I know what he was I was so at. mad. I thought he would be distracted, too. Woo. Yes, he was. He was not even ready to count nothing. He did not want it to be over. He did not want to leave that ring, did he? <laughs> but that should have been Boy. Brie Bella's win, right? Yes, she had it. She had, even though she got slammed onto the opponent, yes, she got that, her, her shoulders were down. But winner AJ beat Booty Lee. Okay, RVD, Raw, Bam, Damn, do it. Raw, Bam, Damn. Fucking win. I mean, win. God. <laughs> okay. Versus El Burrito for the World Championship. This made me mad. Winner by DQ RVD. RVD. <laughs> RVD. RVD. Made me mad. Winner by count out. Winner by count out. I thought somebody was going to come out and cash his money in the bank. But he never did. Still. World Heavyweight Champion, El Tiburito. Okay, match four. Misko Inferno versus Fondagio. <laughs> Winner. 
Mystical Infernio. <laughs> okay. Match five. Curtis Axel versus CM Punk. This was great. I didn't think it was gonna happen. But winner, CM Punk. What happened at the end was just so nuts. What did you think about Ryback coming out and doing that? We're making Paul Heyman win. Speechless. Now, now, now. Paul Heyman has a win over CM Punk. That does not look, that does not look good. <laughs> not for CM Punk. Not at all. <laughs> but CM Punk beat it versus uh, Curtis Axel. So he had to leave, and he got finally got Paul Heyman to himself. Started beating him, silly. And then Ryback comes out, spears him into the table, pulls him over on Paul Heyman, or Paul takes Paul Heyman, puts him on uh, CM Punk, and then for the count of three, winner, Paul Heyman. I think that was stupid. I think that's not over. The feud is still on with uh, Paul Heyman and CM Punk. I don't see it happening. Match 7 for the U.S. Championship. I didn't really care for this match. So I'm not a Dean Ambrose fan or a Dolph Ziggler fan. Dolph Ziggler, he's alright. But I'm not too big of a fan of him. Are you? Not really. No, no. Mystery Man. This is the Mystery Man. The Mystery Man. The Mystery Man. Okay, match eight, primetime players versus the Shield. I was going for on a new tag teams. I do not like the Shield. I don't think they're that good. That made them way too invincible and everything. But upset for me, and mystery guy, the Shield wins it. This is the match. I do not know who to pick: Randy Orton or Daniel Bryan. Woo! What a match it was, though. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. I didn't know who to go for. I'm a Daniel Bryan fan. And I'm a Randy Orton guy. I did not know who to pick. I was, like, confused. But I am not mad about the outcome. It was a miracle or something that... I, was, I hope this didn't happen to me on October 26th. Hopefully I can pull up Daniel Bryan and win it, the WWE Championship for the second time. Yes. 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 WWE. 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 <laughs> WWE. Mystery Man. Mystery Man. Mystery Man. That's right. Mystery Man. Yes. Okay, that's it. For the Washable Marker at Wrestling Recaps. Remember guys, tune in. I'm sorry I keep on forgetting this, but there's two parts most of the time. So, if, you know, check it out. And this will be my last recap until October 26th. Hopefully, I want to see vote. I want to see what the universe wants. My fans are t bones Vote for me to wash up a market. Just put washable, W-M. And then if you want T-Bone, just put T-B. And I want to see your opinion on it and see what we can get. Thank you for YouTube showing. Thank you for coming on the show. Thank you. Appreciate You're it. Right. Give them a round of guys. The mystery man. From parts unknown. Okay. Vote. Go to vote. Thank you for tuning in. Subscribe to Wrestling Recaps. Uh, we got... Follow me on Twitter. Uh, subscribe. Tell. Um, you can text me, call me, ask questions at 527-9728. And I will answer any questions if you, know, you want to get any info. Maybe I'll give it to you. Uh, and I think that's it for Wrestling Recaps with me, the Washroom Marker, and the Mystery Man. <laughs>